we had some big rocks, right? I think when we, when we started that process, we kept thinking, how will we ever do lunch? And I think people who watch school committee meetings week after week, we would say, I just don't have any idea how we're going to be able to have 900 middle school kids, for example, eat lunch or 1200 high school kids eat lunch. And it, would, it was a, a very strange phenomenon. We kept thinking, all right, so you can have three lunch periods or four lunch periods or five lunch, how many do you need? And counted up all those desks that were in the gym and then the ones in the cafeteria and the hot lunch and cold lunch. And, and then at some point someone said, well, I know that we're not allowed to eat in the auditorium, but if we could do that, we could make it work. And I, I mean, this is kind of funny, retrospectively, I don't know if people remember when every day we'd send home another question like, how would you feel if your kid ate lunch on a beach towel? You might. <laughs> and I know people must have thought we were crazy, but we were really working through all of those kinds of procedures. So lunch was outrageous. And then we were very lucky that recently the, the guidance on school buses was relaxed. So now we can put, you know, a, a child on every bench. We can, I mean, we, there's no real rules. I mean, we can put, we can fill up those buses with two kids on every seat. What we're trying to do is put one child on every bench. And, you know, in the event that we can leave space between them, we do. Um, but yeah, I mean, the bus seats are now numbered. So we knew who, know who sat where but going to school and from school. The kids scan a card. So we know what time you got in, what time you got off. All of that had to sort of be logistically resolved before we could make this happen. In addition to thousands of pieces of furniture moving um, on the Friday before vacation, uh, we knew that the custodial staff in the middle school and high school were starting that work. And I can remember being in the middle school and having you know, one of the custodians come to Ann Van Benick saying, I can't fit that last desk in that classroom. No, not, not at three feet from side of seat to side of seat. I, I can't get it in there. And you know, those were the kinds of things that have just been so challenging. Right. And I, I, I know, I remember when you started talking about lunch and that was by far uh, the biggest thing. We were able to figure out lunch in the absence of outdoor space in case it was rainy or did you need to include outdoor space and provide tents or something like that? Well, to be fair, um, at the high school, that's going to be the trickiest place. We're very lucky that 130 kids, about 130, have um, stepped away to do senior project. So that alleviates, you know, 10% of the population, maybe a little more than 10% of the population. And we do have junior and senior privileges. So those kids can go out, get in a car and go get lunch somewhere. Um, and so that's also helpful. There's outdoor seating on nice days. So like today, if you weren't too cold, you could sit outside and have lunch there. But we really are at the high school relying on kids not eating lunch inside the physical building. You know, whether that's because you've taken your privileges or you've gone outside to eat you know, either in the open air or under a tent. Um, but at the high school, we've had to make those choices. 